टाइम सीरीज डिराइव द ऑटो कोवेरियंस एंड ऑटो कोरिलेशन फंक्शन ऑफ ए आर वन प्लस एस एक्स टी इज इक्वल्स टू अल्फा एक्स टी माइनस वन प्लस ई टी वेर मॉड ऑफ अल्फा इज लेस दैन वन एंड ई टी फॉर्म्स अ वाइट नॉइज प्रोसेस द टाइम सीरीज जेड टी इज बिलीव टू फॉलो एन अर्मा वन कॉमा डी कॉमा जीरो प्रोसेस फॉर सम वैल्यूज ऑफ डी टाइम सीरीज जेड टी इज ऑप्टेन बाई डिफ्रेंस इन के टाइम दैन द सैम्पल ऑटो कोरिलेशन आर शोन इन द टेबल बिलो सजेस्ट विथ रीजन अप्रोप्रिएट वैल्यूज ऑफ डी एंड द अल्फा पैरामीटर इन द अंडरलाइंग ए एन वन प्रोसेस सो लेट्स डू दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वन सो फॉर क्वेश्चन वन वी हैव ऑटो कोरिलेशन एंड कोवेरियंस फंक्शन सो बैक स्लैश फाइ ऑफ लैमडा इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस बैक स्लैश अल्फा ऑफ लैमडा ओके एंड दिस हैज टू बी इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो ऑल्ट इक्वल्स टू बैक स्लैश Lambda is equals to one by backslash alpha. Okay. Since we have been said that mod of alpha has to be less than one, mod of alpha is less than one. So therefore, now mod of lambda also greater than one. and the process is stationary okay now using uh, gamma n backslash g a m m a underscore n using gamma n for the auto covariance at lag n we have all the equals zero gamma underscore zero gamma not is equals to covariance of x comma x underscore t so hence covariance of backslash alpha x underscore t minus 1 second this is x t x t alpha x t minus 1 plus e t comma x underscore t okay so this becomes backslash alpha backslash gamma underscore 1 plus backslash sigma square okay all t equals to backslash gamma underscore 1 is equals to covariance of x underscore t comma x underscore t minus 1 this covariance of backslash alpha x underscore t minus one plus e underscore t comma x underscore t minus one. Okay, this is equals to backslash alpha backslash gamma underscore not. okay and therefore all t equals to backslash gamma underscore 2 is equals to backslash alpha gamma underscore 1 and all t equals to similarly this follows no gamma 1 is equals to alpha gamma not so gamma 2 and this will follow the follow that gamma 3 is equals to alpha gamma 2 okay etc Solving these, we get all t equals to backslash gamma n is equals to backslash alpha to the power n backslash sigma to the power two divided by one minus backslash of alpha 
ver. So this is the values for n equals to 0, 1 and 2 dot dot dot. Okay, so these are the values and by this, but the same logic applies for negative time lags. So for negative time lags, I'll copy the same thing. But only difference will be mod of n. Okay. Therefore, the autocorrelation function alt equals to backslash rho <coughs> is equal to backslash gamma to the power n divided by backslash gamma underscore zero. So, this is also backslash underscore n which is equals to backslash alpha to the power mod of n ok for n belongs to z and this is done next they have been asked they asked us the value of appropriate values for d and the parameter alpha so if the process is uh, Arima 1 comma d comma 0 if it is 1 comma d comma 0 as it is said in the question then if the difference uh, if we difference d times it will get an arima 1 comma 0 process that is ar1 process that is if we difference 0 times ok and if we difference it 0 times you will get uh, arima 1 which is ar1 process and if we have so let's write if we difference zero times you can see that this is under parameter uh, this is given to us then we have that uh, here the population uh, autocorrelation functions decays exponentially we have seen over here the column which suggests an exponential decay see here it is not an exponential decay it's a steady decay it's a steady decay here it is 83 66 54 and suddenly falls down to 13 so there's an exponential decay here so therefore k is equals to 2 ok so we said d equals to 2 that is difference twice ok and setting the first sample autocorrelation r1 equal to the formula first falls to rho1 and alpha is equals to 0.83 ok k equals to 2 alpha is equals to 0.83 because r1 is written as that way ok so these are the values that is the difference twice and d equals to 2 and alpha is equals to 0.83 moving on to the next question we have this question estimation of parameters the following data is observed from n equals to 1500 realizations of time series summation xi summation xi minus x bar and summation this estimate using the data above the parameters mu alpha 1 and sigma from the model xi minus xt minus mu into this and after fitting the model uh, with the parameters when it is calculated the number of turning points of the residual series uh, is 280 perform a statistical test to check whether there is evident if silenty is not generated from the white noise process so coming to a new page we have question 2 which is equal to first part 1 estimation of parameters so the covariance with lag 1 is equals to backslash gamma underscore 1 is equals to cove of x underscore t comma x underscore t minus 1 ok and then this is equals to covariance of backslash mu plus backslash alpha underscore 1 into x
into backslash of alpha one back uh, into x underscore t minus one minus mu plus epsilon. So how do we write epsilon? Epsilon. Okay. Plus epsilon t. So this is your error term t comma x underscore t minus one. Okay. Next you can write here is covariance of x under uh, backslash of mu comma x underscore t minus 1 close plus minus of covariance of backslash of alpha underscore 1 into x underscore t minus 1 minus mu comma x underscore t minus 1 plus covariance of epsilon underscore t comma x underscore t minus you can copy x t if you want I have just written it okay and then once this is done we know that covariance of mu this is 0 plus this is alpha 1 I am not I will just copy this is minus ok this becomes covariance of alpha 1 x t minus 1 x underscore t minus 1 alpha 1 comma x t comma x t minus 1 plus minus of control v alpha 1 mu comma x t minus 1 plus 0 ok so all t equals to this becomes backslash of alpha underscore 1 backslash of gamma underscore 0 minus 0 or you can just directly write it because that uh, alpha 1 mu comma x t minus 1 is always 0 ok now we can substitute the sample values substituting the sample values all equal to 2176.03 is equals to 3153.67 backslash alpha underscore 1. So therefore all equals to alpha underscore 1 is equals to 0 0.69. The variance is all t equals to var of x underscore t minus mu is equals to var of backslash of alpha underscore 1 into x underscore t minus 1 minus of mu plus epsilon underscore t this is our variance variance of this so all t equals to since mu1 and sigma1 are constants et is independent of xt so we have var of xt just var of xt minus var of xt just is equals to backslash of alpha 1 square var of x underscore t minus 1 and plus var of epsilon t epsilon underscore t 
so which is equals to alpha square underscore one var of x underscore t minus one plus backslash sigma square. Now substituting values we have three one five three point six seven divided by five hundred. is equals to 0 0.690 square into 3153.67 divided by 500 plus sigma square so therefore sigma is equals to 1.818 okay and once we have sigma we can calculate mean also so backslash mu is equals to 13.153 uh, 13153.5.32 my divided by 500 is equals to 26.31 okay and then next is turning points test we were told So for turning points test, fault equals to H naught is equals to residuals from a white noise process and naught equals to H1 is the residuals do not form a white noise process okay this is done and then we'll finally calculate expectation of t is equals to 2 by 3 into 498 which is equals to 332 and alt equals to variance of t is equals to 16 into 500 minus 29 divided by 90 is equals to 88.567 so this is our variance of t therefore the test statistic is equals to 280 plus 0 0.5 minus 332 divided by SQRT of 88.567 which we calculated which is equals to minus 5.47 now since which should be from normal 0 comma 1 distribution since minus 5.47 is less than minus 1.96 we have sufficient evidence to reject or ignore The residuals do not form a white noise process okay so this was basic time series questions